But the question that they have is, how come anyone who gives birth is supposed to dilate to exactly 10 centimeters when everyone is made differently? Their body's made differently, but yet they're supposed to all dilate to 10 centimeters to give birth. They don't think it makes any sense. So let's talk about it. This picture right here is a great picture of a cervix. The opening of the cervix closest to the vagina is the external opening of the cervix. The opening of the cervix closest to the fetal head, which is up here, is the internal opening of the cervix. As the head starts coming down, the cervix starts to thin out and dilate. So two things have to happen. It needs to thin out, which means effaced, and then open, which means dilate. And here's another example. I know you guys can't see me well, well, but I want you to see this. As you go across these pictures from left to right, you can see over time the cervix thins out and opens and dilates so that the fetal head can come down. And here's a rough representation of going from closed to 10 centimeters.